The secret to avoiding malaria, if you're going to a malarious area, is A, B, C, D. So A is awareness of the risks, B is bite prevention, C is chemoprophylaxis, that's anti-malarial tablets to you and me, and D is diagnosing promptly if you do get symptoms. So where awareness is concerned, do always check if you're going anywhere outside Europe, the USA, Australia or New Zealand. Just check with your pharmacist if the area you're going to is a malarious area. Likewise, it may be malarious at some times of year and not at others, or may be considered to be low risk at some times and higher risk at others. On the whole, if you're in an urban area, your risks are likely to be lower than in jungle areas. But in some areas, particularly for instance, in many parts of Africa, your risk is high wherever you are. Where bite prevention is concerned, do always use knockdown sprays, mosquito nets, wear long sleeve clothes and long trousers, especially in the evening, and do use insect repellent spray. DEET sprays are very effective, and although some so-called natural sprays can repel mosquitoes, none of them work for anything like as long as the DEET sprays. So if you're in a malarious area, I do always recommend to my patients that they use a DEET-based spray if appropriate. Where chemoprophylaxis or anti-malarials is concerned, your pharmacist can advise and he can sell you the tablets exactly the same as your GP would give you on private prescription. You'll need to start them before you go, keep taking them all the time you're there and complete the course when you come back. Diagnosis? Well, I'm hoping you're watching this because you want to avoid getting it. But if you do think that you may have symptoms of malaria, then please do go and have a look at our leaflet on patient.info and seek urgent help if you think you might be affected.